Hi, my name is Silat from BlueFX.net, and today I have a spe special, special, very, very special uh, gift for you because we have an we have a logo animation that we are about to release, and we're gonna give this to you for free. Yes, for free, so you can check this out. It has sound effects, and it ain't. This ain't no joke. This is for real. This this looks like a joke, but it's not. So I'm just using a joke. Uh, logo but you can change this logo with whatever you want but the big thing about this is not that we got a logo animation template you probably have seen many the big thing about this is is that we got this we made this logo animation template inside PowerPoint so check this out okay I go to here to animation and click on preview wow now you can edit now you can create logo animations inside PowerPoint, but wait, there's more because you can actually create this. This we have actually made it so that you can use this also inside inside Keynote. So take a look. And as you can notice, we have multiple color versions also. So the great news is that you can get this for free and the download link is beneath this video and when you click on that link you'll see also a special offer from us okay I'd love to get your feedback on that also and uh, by the way if you think that this 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 is a crazy idea to uh, create templates for PowerPoint then just let me know so I don't make any more uh, PowerPoint templates but if you if you like it then yeah just let me know also so at this point I'm gonna now show you how you can make your own um, logo animation with this template so make sure that you follow along now you open the one of the color versions because we have uh, four color versions that that's gonna be included here you one two three four color versions yeah and um, uh, what you need to do is first right click and then reorder objects okay and now you see this this funny image here and what this shows you is the order of the layers in PowerPoint so at this point you see that the your logo layer is uh, at position number five so to be able to select it you need to bring it to the position number one so you just drag it to the top position okay click OK at the bottom corner okay and now what you want to do is um, actually now you can see that you can select your logo because earlier you couldn't and now what you want to do is now just right click on this and uh, click on change picture and change picture from file and this at this point you need to select the logo okay you probably have some kind of a logo hanging layering around and uh, yeah let's just use this one I mean I could go with a more corporate and professional logo like the blue effects logo okay but we could also do some some crazy stuff okay let's do some crazy stuff. let's use the joke logo okay I'm gonna use that click insert and now what you can do is now you can scale the logo up if you wish now you can reposition it okay but if now I uh, try to go and preview this by the way you preview in um, PowerPoint by going to animation and then clicking on preview you'll see that it's not it's not going to be perfect you see that the joke layer <laughs> I mean the logo layer uh, appears over the animation that's not what we want so for that right click I mean right click uh, reorder objects and now we got to take the logo layer and push it back to its original position which was at number five okay so it has to be at layer number five and then click OK and now let's see the magic oh yeah oh yeah that's awesome okay so you can also change the tagline it's, it works exactly the same way uh, right click reorder object uh, select the timeline okay the tagline okay number four remember this we put it to the front hit okay and and then write in Fx.net is the best. It's the best. It's what? It's the best. It's the best template site. Of course. Yeah. 
Now we can move it around, okay? And now we want to make sure that we push it back, okay? Then go to reorder object, and then you take this baby and just push it back to position number four, okay? Click OK, and then you're done. And now, how do you make a video with this? Well, guess what? PowerPoint has an option for this. You need to go to File and go to Export and uh, here select MP4 and just drop it on your desktop, call it Video, something like this, and just click Export. Whew. Wow. And you know what? We have also a couple of other color variations. And uh, yeah, the same thing goes also for Keynote. I'm switching quickly, so make sure that you're, uh, you're very present on this presentation. Okay, so quickly I will show you how you can edit this also on Keynote. Actually, on Keynote is really easy to edit. So all you gotta do is on, go right click and open with Keynote, open that file with Keynote, and then Next, you go to view and then click on show object list. Okay, now at this point, what you want to do is the second object from the bottom, you want to replace that. So how we do that, we select that object, we go to image and click on replace. Okay, select the logo, replace it. And okay, now we have the logo in, but you can see that the logo is cut off. So you need to go here, edit mask, and just move the mask around a little bit, like this. Okay, perfect. So now, uh, what you wanna do probably is you wanna scale this down a little bit. Now to scale this down, you need to move up the logo for a while until we edit it, and uh, just hold, the, just drag these sliders And make sure you will always have the logo selected otherwise you're gonna move around other layers okay and now we're gonna push that logo back okay now let's edit the the tagline so this is a little bit tricky because you have to click on you have to click on the text here the text layer and if you don't want to click here because once you click here you you, you start this button all you want to do is click on the layer here and start typing. So, text.net, uh, for example. Okay, and uh, you can change stuff here. You can change the, the look of the title or the alignment, the size, the color, and so on. Okay, so that's it. And now what you, what you want to do is just export the video to a movie here. Okay. Put it to full HD. And click next. And then you can just uh, select the place where you want to save it and save it okay now the movie is being exported okay so our video is ready you can check it out here it also has audio it has uh, sound effects and there we have it and uh, there's the logo and there we have our tagline okay so that's it uh, here here is the logo animation all you got to do to get this logo animation is to click on the link below this video download it and by the way when you go to the download and and you start downloading it you'll see that i have a special offer set up for you uh, check it out and uh, let me know is this the right thing to do should we make more uh, powerpoint templates or should we stop making powerpoint templates completely okay i'd love to get your feedback on this 